All right, yo, uh, if you're in here, you're probably clicked on this video because the title is <clears throat> so uh, tempting, I don't know. For those of you wondering, this is indeed how to get better at Warzone, how to be the best, how to up your chances of winning every single game. First of all, you're gonna wanna do what this guy who kills me does, which is get cold-blooded ghost and spotter and then sit in a bush next to my loadout he didn't even get his his isn't there so i don't know why he chose that bush or why he chose me but uh first tip number one that's what you're gonna want to do <clears throat> sorry i'm kind of losing my voice as you can see i saved the clip in the top right because i was like absolutely astounded but yeah anyways so here's what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to have your name be anonymous something no idea what that means uh, you're gonna want to chill on the outskirts of the map you're gonna get reported for boosting by players who actually try and play the game because basically by sitting in that bush being afk you kind of are boosting if i'm being honest with you you're gonna want to find a new bush on the even further edges of the map make sure your back is to the, like the little restricted area section that way nobody can come from behind you you're gonna want to have dead silence in your back pocket and maybe 14 grand just in case shit kind of starts hitting the fan after you get your two kills uh as you can see circles um let's go ahead and say pretty big at the moment no matter it don't don't even worry about it don't worry about circle don't worry about any of that stuff as long as you're in it and you got a bush you're chilling you're gonna want to survey the area pretty often um like right in front of you to the sides even behind you and out of bounds just in case you know you never know if there's going to be like an absolute legend or a god player who might be top like 0.1 percent which means they might be better than you they could be coming out of nowhere you never know you're going to want to rock i think what this is is a legendary groza i'm not sure what exactly this is i never pick it up because uh spoiler alert it's not very good unless you are top one slash two percent in the game then you can be like this guy go ahead and use it uh, as you can tell high kills is pretty achievable for everybody this guy's got two times the amount of kills that the average player would get so he's kind of killing it right now level 55 he knows what he's doing other than that uh, i think we're gonna have some free time here to kind of talk about more so than just what he's doing uh this guy spoiler alert doesn't win the game he actually gets killed by somebody who's even better and it's just overall proof that this had to have been a diamond one lobby this had to have been best players in the world there's no there's no chance no shot honestly uh, we get up to these tents i remember when i was spectating them that you can hear a guy inside but when you're this good you don't need to even bother you can just run in there close the door behind you and that guy just won't even kill you Unless you run right into him and don't even bother to shoot back, then you just get your shit melted by Kendo Slice, who is probably also a god. I don't remember how many kills Kendo Slice has. I also don't know why he's in the fire station in the middle of nowhere doing absolutely nothing with his loadout and ghost. Uh, but that's just me. I obviously don't know how to play this game very well. As you can see here, Kendo Slice has nukes in his title and nukes in his emblem which means my boy drops fucking bombs on the daily he plows women every night before bed at his own mercy just fucking rocks the damascus watch and kills people with a golden kilo he is just about this life he murders everything in sight as you can tell by his four kills, if I remember correctly, he does lay up here and does not move for a couple minutes. So in the meantime, we will talk about something else. Let me catch my breath because that was a lot to go over. I feel like a codcaster. One second. Okay, we are back. So, Boy Kendo is going to be chilling up here. What I want to talk about is the current meta uh, so you got your ffar you got your aug you got your m16 don't think i'm forgetting anything maybe you could throw the amax in there for funsies but i wouldn't some would say as val even though it's not very viable for trios and quads here's the deal 
We gotta get rid of this burst meta. There's just no way you can validate dying from two bursts to these kinds of guns. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the only way to counter is if you get a head glitch. But on the off chance, or should I say the quite often chance that somebody is watching you run around or whatever, you're gonna get your shit rocked. I think somebody gets ballsy enough to climb this man's ladder and they think that maybe, maybe just, they're probably thinking there's no way somebody's crazy and stupid enough to just lay up here, right? But wrong. This is solos where you can do whatever you want with 20 fucking grand in your pocket. You can get ghost on first loadout for free. You didn't even have to pay for it. You can kill another rose skin player while they climb up the ladder and they can do nothing about it. It'll just rack up your kills. You'll stack that KD. You'll be the best player ever. I guarantee it. This guy's probably going to win this game because as you can tell, he is 300 IQ. He's the best. He's going to mark a truck in solos just so that he can keep track of it in the back of his head, you know, because it's pretty hard to do that even though you can see it on the map already. I just don't know what else to say about this guy. He is outclassing everybody right now. There is no stopping him. Almost falls down the ladder. Luckily, he remembers how to slide down. Looks for more shit. I think he's going to pick up an FFAR here. What a god. Everybody, including me, has this camo. That's how you know you're the GOAT. Um, obviously, still, I am somehow the only one spectating this guy. I thought the whole lobby would be spectating him at this point because normally if you see somebody famous or like a really good player, you kind of stop and you stay and you spectate them. But I don't know. Uh, maybe people had better things to do than this. Anyways, he goes AFK again. So I think I probably end up reporting him for boosting as well. Pretty fucking annoying if you ask me. What else can I talk about during this uh, little segue? Um, kill streaks are pretty busted right now. I'm probably going to make a video on it. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let's talk about Ghost and Harpy Sensor, even though I've already done it. This is a prime example as to why Ghost and Harpy Sensor both need to get taken out of the game. If you have Ghost on literally there is no counter and you can be the worst player in the world like this guy and you could be a decent player a great player or you could just be better than this guy and if you have a uav it does not matter if you have a heartbeat it does not matter but i promise you one thing i promise you like from the bottom of my heart they will never take ghost out of this game they will never take the heartbeat out of this game and everybody knows why Logically speaking, if this were to be a good first-person shooter game, there would be a counter to every single thing, every single gun. There would be some guns that outclass others at certain ranges, things like that. But we all know the FAR rules at almost every range other than long, long range, which is where the AUG and the M16 come in. You would find it fucking what a coincidence, right, that the FFAR and the AUG are two of the only guns in the game to get a reactive camo wrong they know that everybody's using this shit they're not gonna nerf it until they get enough money out of it so i guess just fucking get ready for the ride they're scamming the fuck out of us we're all paying for it we're all gonna get the skin we're all gonna unlock all the attachments on the gun we're all gonna use the gun because we stand no chance against the current meta without it as far as counters go i mean literally you would think maybe there should be a counter for ghost if you are a very bad player, you probably are thinking to yourself, advanced UAV, UAV in general, like that'll counter ghost. Wrong. You can see people on advanced UAV if they are within or outside of 250 meters. If they are inside 250 meters though, you're pretty much fucked. You can no longer see them, which basically means you wasted your four grand. It was basically just information on the map for the outside areas it uh, don't get me wrong it is always worth it always comes in handy it's always great insurance but it is never ever ever a counter to ghost ever unless you for some reason are 300 meters away from your team and you're making on map call outs for them which is also really confusing because the uav only pings every so often Kendo Slice finally stands up for about two seconds. We are in fourth circle. 14 players left. He still has five kills. He decides that it's way too much pressure, lays back down. I guarantee you if anybody were to look up this man's stats, he might, by the grace of God, have one win. 
I'm not totally sure even if he would have one win, no idea. He is obsessed with nukes though, he obviously drops 30 kills every game. This one's just like a really small weird exception. Uh, 25 more people didn't climb up the ladder, which is super unlucky in my opinion. We're gonna have to find something else to talk about. Again though, because he laid back down. So I guess let's talk about Berthas in solos. If you don't know what a Bertha is, it's the big fucking truck that everybody rides around in because they're fucking scared to play the game and they don't wanna die. Don't get me wrong, if you have it to your availability, go ahead and use it just like Ghost, just like the Harpy sensor, just like anything else that's overpowered. I can't stop you or tell you to not use it. It is at your discretion and it is uh, honestly your best chance at winning if you are a player as bad as this man. There's nothing wrong with being bad at the game, but my god, you have to at least try and get better if you want any shot at winning, and I feel like people play this game as if they are playing with their actual life. If this guy dies, you can just queue back up and go again, bro. Like, how is this fun for you? There's no way. Like, your hands are probably sweating. We got that rapid heartbeat. I think here he has a frag grenade on his class and he doesn't even cook it, just throws it and gets a hit marker. Shout out to this man, absolute god. He realizes circle's coming. There's two Berthas on him, so he's like, you know what? If you can't beat him, join him. He grabs his own Bertha. As you can see, he has a rose skin as well because that's what all the legends have. They also will never take that skin out of the game because it is still wildly popular. It is still wildly overselling. I think they even created a new skin for the Rose class, which is not a dark skin, but it's just more opportunity to buy the character. This guy, for some reason, is like, you know what, I'm gonna post up in the building now, even though this building is also outside of the circle. I don't know what's going on through my man's head, but I can't talk. I'm already dead. He's not. He's a legend. I'm not. Uh, he doesn't need to go for loadout because he got ghost on the first free loadout like an absolute verge if you ask me i think pretty soon here he tries making some of the sketchiest plays i think i have ever seen in my life we will see if they pay off for him this is the slowest final circle i have ever seen in my life we are in a top eight position 14 seconds left until fifth circle starts closing in what is Kendo Slice gonna do here other than simply look around like an absolute god? He thinks that Rock is a person. Spoiler alert, it is definitely fucking not. I don't know what else to say at this point. Maybe we'll just let it ride out. Maybe we won't. These players are absolutely astonishing. Like, I'm not trying to hate. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody to, like, a crazy extent. But my God, when I when these when these like absolute top tier players tell you that it is fucking hard to drop a 20 or a 30 kill gameplay and get the win, I want you guys to know that it is motherfucking hard as shit when you are dealing with these kinds of players all goddamn day long. They're throwing fucking bouncing Bettys into potted plants and shit. I would never think of this fucking shit. You know what I'm talking about? What are these people thinking? Like, they're 3,000 IQ. I can't handle it. This guy has had a missing plate for like four minutes now, still doesn't realize it. It's insane. I don't know how these people win games, but they do. You get rewarded for camping with Ghost in this game to the utmost degree, and it is absolutely embarrassing still seven people left including this guy so he only has six more bodies to catch this guy is looking at him with a sniper and he decides to mount up with the kilo that got nerfed and 300 meters shot this guy like what and then guess what he does it again he says you know what fuck it we're gonna get back in this building guess fucking what though you would assume there's got to be somebody in this building, right? And to that I say, you're right. But then he gets one shot bouncing bettied by another guy who has a Pila secondary, a Growl primary with the wrong attachments, and he's using fucking deployable shield inside the building to cover him from the only window. Even crazier than that, watch this. 
nine meters there's another guy in the building there's another guy in the fucking same building as this guy they've been camping in the same building the entire time bro you can't beat it you can't beat these guys they're too fucking smart you can't do it i'm gonna lose my mind bro it's insane we got new york champ on the sticks just got his first kill my guy his first kill he has the wrong silencer the wrong barrel <laughs> the wrong fucking grip all he has is the 60 round mag that's all he's done right and he's got a guy right on top of him look at this we're just looking at the heartbeat sensor over and over and over again luckily he's got the vlk my man had bouncing betties on his fucking class like his his creative class storm's moving we make the move for the truck get absolutely fucked on by the aug because spoiler alert everybody gets fucked on by the aug this guy i think is the best player in the lobby if i remember checking the stats correctly he's on a 13 bomb right now which some of you might think is pretty low but to be honest it is way and above average for most kills in a game most people are get are really lucky to get above 10. he's already at 13. he's gotten the kill on the guy who's gone out of yellow right but the problem is if you're a good player you're probably thinking Okay, I knocked out that side of the map. There's no way there's somebody else in that house, right? So he's looking over at house. He gets pulled up on by, guess what? A Bertha gets his shit pushed in by, I don't know, some other guy. Let's see how many kills this other guy has. Oh yeah, by the way, the guy with the Bertha that just killed him didn't even have his loadout. He was just running around in the Bertha the whole game. He's actually not bad. He's got 10 kills. He picks up a new class. I think just barely he spots the absolute legend of a man who was camping upstairs in yellow. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Um, also for anybody wondering, I had eight kills this game with like 70 up. So I actually could have gone on a little burner. This guy gets the finish here. We're on an 11 kill game. Everybody's probably rooting for this guy cause he's top two, but guess what? He is the fucking two because somebody was camping with ghost in the fucking bush and if i check the stats i think this guy had two kills on the entire game but he was laying in that bush the entire time just watching the fight waiting for this guy to look away waiting for him to run he catches the dub and that ladies and gentlemen is how you win more games of warzone please make sure that you remember to get your rose skin to get ghost on the free loadout you have king in your clan tag name yourself after an avengers character other than that use the hog use the m16 use the ffar apparently use bouncing betties and the sigma i will see you guys when i see you guys i'm never winning a game of solos again in my life have a good one peace the fuck out yeah